Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to Plants vs. Zombies Battle for Neighborville. Today we're going to continue exploring more of the town center, getting as much of it completed as possible, and along with it we'll be checking out the Citron, who has changed quite a lot from Garden Warfare 2. As you can see, he has the EMP, which actually is the same, shoots an EMP that stuns nearby enemies and depletes ZMAC fuel. Ooh, that second part's a pretty big deal. So as you can see, this is actually probably the most similar thing that he has, is his EMP. He also has the Spin Dash, spin dash forward to hurt enemies and knock them back. So you can't actually run around in the ball or roll around in the ball anymore. You have to do it through the, um, just like charging and that's it. And then you have to walk on your peels beyond that. <laughs> And then we also have his third ability, which is the Naval Laser, a precision beam that grows in power. And this is a lot more different. It sort of looks like a carrot, but it's not. It looks really cool, honestly taking a page out of the Hover Goat from Garden Warfare 2. And then his primary weapon, you might be wondering, is sort of like a scatter shot. He does not zoom in. Instead, his zoom button is the secondary shield, or I guess the only shield. You know what I mean. And also, I, d I discovered a Mind Blower thing up here. I don't think I need this. But you know, just good to know it's there. I don't know if there's too much more I can do. Oh, there's a cactus up here. Oh, oh actually, no, I can roll around. I guess I just have to sprint, Never mind. But it's definitely not as quick. Uh, who is this, Corporal Harmella? Uh, I can be a bit prickly, but I must say, you're starting to grow on me. Well, isn't that very cool? I cannot wait to unlock that cactus skin. That looks awesome. Anything else of note here? There is one of these, these telescopes. Yeah, you can see there's something off there in the distance. So we're gonna go and get that if I can manage. Whoa, <laughs> keep going. We're gonna go over here and dig this up then. What do we get inside of that? That's been really confusing me. Can I dig it? Yes, we can. We get a whole bunch of coins and a couple of tacos. Not too bad. Okay, we gotta keep those in mind. I don't know if those have like a marker on them or anything like that, but I guess not. But my main goal is going to be just getting as much as we can possibly find done in the town center, as well as maybe talk to Mark, who's also a Citron. We saw him a little bit last episode, or the last story mode episode, so I wanna do more of that if we can. Let's try the precision laser a little bit. It's a lot of fun. Citron's definitely a big difference than he was in Garden Warfare 2, but you know what, I like it so far. So yeah, let's first off go talk to Mark. Maybe we'll focus on that first. I don't really know what that'll be. Some people are saying it's like maybe garden ops or something, so that'd be really cool to find out. So another interesting thing, I can't shoot and shield. That's a big difference. That's a huge difference. So we're gonna have to keep that in mind. Cause that can change everything really. I'm gonna keep rolling over this way. Glad that we defeated some zombies now. We do walk a little bit slower with the shield as well. But yeah, I already have all the chest locations opened up for um, this town center are all the chest maps. So we just have to find them all. Hopefully I can spend the latter half of today's episode doing that. All the chests and maybe whatever Mark does, if it's uh, Subtle Ops or whatever Garden Ops, that'd be really cool to find out. Oh, Captain Deadbeard party over this way. Let's get our precision back on then. The problem is you can't zoom in with it, so it is a little bit difficult to land. But I feel like we did pretty good there. But he is a defensive class, which makes him a little bit different than what I'm used to at the moment. And you over this way, Mr. Captain Deadbeard. Don't think I forgot about you. Yeah, so over this way is Mark, which remember the stem is like super tough something and the Mark. So Mark is the additional guy. He's a uh, Sergeant Peel's brother. Oh, hey friend, you look like the helpful type. My name's Mark and it's like it's seriously cool to meet you. I bet my brother Sergeant Peel told you about me, but he didn't tell you his name is Clementine. Oh, I get it, because Clementine's sort of like an orange. He acts up, but he's a real softy. Uh, he assigned me to Ops Detail, which is so chill. But here's an idea. What have you covered for me, just for a few missions? You just help Crazy Dave protect these gardenators. They help them keep Neighborville smelling fresh. Now you can do it the boring Clementine way by going into that Gardenator to start a fight, or you can do it my three trippy ops. You can do my three trippy ops assignments. First one, do ops as an acorn. Do all three, and don't tell Clementine about this, and I'll hook you up, my dude. Alrighty, well that sounds cool. Keep it real out there, my dude. We are going to play some ops then. This is always fun. Of course, Garden Ops is a really fun game mode. And if you don't know what Garden Ops is, you'll find out with me right now, so that'll be great. We're at the Sundrops Hills in Town Center doing Ops. 
That is cool. And Garden Ops was something that was in Garden Warfare 1 and 2. So it's a pretty classy game mode. Zombies are coming, put on your fighting faces. Guard the Gardenator. Alrighty, so as you can see over this way, this is the Gardenator, Planet of the Plots, Plant, Pronto, Pal. <laughs> oh, and happy Letter P Day. Uh, but yeah, this is basically a wave-based game mode where there's gonna be waves of zombies coming in, we gotta defend against them and protect the Gardenator. They'll be trying to destroy the Gardenator, it's our job to stop them from doing that. We do have a couple of plant pots, and this is also a game mode that's really fun with teammates. I wonder if we will get any of those in this. That'd be great if we did, but I don't know. Like maybe some teammates started spawning in. But we'll just do what we can to grow some plant pots and take out zombies wherever we see them. Wherever we see fit, really. Maybe I'll make this one a doom shroom. I do see this guy over that way. Come on, good to grow. Oh, I guess I've grown 25 plant pots. That's awesome. And I got him. Conehead zombie taken down. Our plant pots are working on it as well. But yeah, Garden Ops is a very classic game, but I hope that there's also Graveyard Ops for the zombies, I can only imagine. I mean, that kind of stuff will be a little bit more clear once the full you know, set of the game is released. Right now, of course, we're still in the Founders Edition, which this should be the last episode before the second week begins. So this is the end of the first week as this video is going up for um, the, oh boy, where is this guy? Here he is, <laughs> he's down. Um, this is the the last episode on the first week, so it's not the last episode of the series or nothing. Don't don't get don't get scared. Um, but yeah, next episode is going to be week two. Looking forward to that. There should be some zombie content unlocked with that, so we'll be doing that starting in episode eleven or twelve. We'll have to see what we want to do. Um, but yeah, for right now. Um, oh, actually, no, maybe that's episode twelve. Is maybe there'll be one more episode. I can't remember. Uh, yeah, this is episode ten. I thought we were in episode eleven. I'm getting it mixed up. So there might be one more for week one. Let's get rid of this guy, we gotta protect the Gardenator, and we get level two for that. Very cool. So we're making some okay progress so far, and I need to keep planning things, just like this. We'll do the electric read over this way this time. The only problem is we have these cooldowns, which are making things a bit complicated, but we could also get a Bong Choy, if we see it fit. I do not see any more uh, pots we can use. This area is really cool though, I like it. I mean, the art style of this game is just amazing so far. Anyways, I haven't used too many of Citron's abilities. I've been sort of just a little chill. Is there a laundry in this cave? Looks like it to me. Not really too much more beyond that going on. Oh, the zombies are coming in from this side? Why did they give me the exclamation marks on the other side? It's just trying to fool me. All right, well, you're going down, buddy. Thank you very much. The only problem with the super beam is that there's no way to stop it. It just keeps going until it's done. Got him. I like how the Citron controls so far, though. I may end up liking him more than I did in Garden Warfare 2. I'm not saying something. He was great in Garden Warfare 2. I'll have to wait and see, though. But yeah, I would love to hear if you've tried this solo ops mission yet, and what are your thoughts on Garden Ops and Graveyard Ops as a game mode? Would you like to see more of it? Because that's something we did a lot in Garden Warfare 2. We would do a lot of themed Garden Ops and Graveyard Ops missions. Uh, we won't be able to do those too much in uh, Battle for Neighborville just because there isn't really too many variants to, you know, base themes off of. Like we would do all fire variants and stuff. But I'm sure we can still do something. Okay, stop that. Gotcha. Wait, there's another zombie popping around the corner there. I see ya. And then we're gonna turn around because I know there's a zombie attacking this Gardenator. Can you cease from doing that, sir? Thank you. And the Conehead. Nice, it does some good damage. And this is a defensive class, which is great for when we have to defend something, you know? Gotcha. Oh, there is a soldier coming in. I don't know if I have anything to say about it. Oh, get out of here, that was great. So this plant pot is down over this way, unfortunately. And a Captain Deadbeard. Now, he might be a bit more of a challenge. I don't know exactly where he is. He's over here. Oh, got him. Wave complete. Wave complete, no knockout bonus. Well, that's a shame. Next wave begins in 17 seconds. That gives us some time to set up some more plant pots. I think I'm gonna do the same thing. Actually, you know what? I'll do Bong Choy this time on this side. Over here, I definitely need something now. We will do the Goop Shroom. That'll at least slow them down a little bit. And it looks like that's all the plant pots occupied. We still have our Scaredy Shroom over here doing a good job. And if we ever want, we can just sort of protect the plant pot and it can just do the work for us, right? At least to some degree. Oh, there's another one down here. I didn't see this. 
This one's a little bit far out there, though. Don't see myself sending this one up too often. Definitely the Gatling P is the best. Hopefully we do get more plant pots and zombie bots eventually. That would be cool to see. I really wonder what this game's content updates are gonna be like in the future. Of course, we got really used to that in Guard War for one and two, is that every few months when the game, like for the first year or so that a game launched, or the game launched, we would get like regular content updates with you know, new variants, new maps, and a bunch of other new stuff too. I wonder how content updates are gonna work in Battle for Naperville, if we're gonna be getting them, or is it just going to be the launch of the game and that's it, who knows? There's still just so much that isn't answered that I'm really looking forward to. So we'll have to wait and see. Oh boy. Awesome. And what is going on over this way? We are gonna charge you. Boom. Let's impeach. These guys are stunned. I don't know if anybody's actually damaged a Gardenator yet. I would like to keep it that way. See ya. Oh no. This guy's a problem. Charge him. Oh, level three achieved, not bad. It's still super weird to me that Super Brains has a shield. Like, I can't wait to try him out again. That's gonna be a lot different. Okay, one more zombie remaining. Oh no, no, that was it, okay. No knockout bonus, that sort of stinks. Well, oh, you know what? I'm misreading that. I thought it was saying that I'm not getting a knockout bonus. I think what it's saying is that I'm getting a bonus for not getting knocked out. Oh, now I feel silly. Oh, can we get up here? Nah, I can't. It'd be cool to have that like upground advantage. Anyways, we don't have much time here. I gotta set these pots up. No, here we go. We will do a thing there. Okay, buddy, watch it. I don't care how tough you are. We're tougher. Right, there we go. <laughs> And where was the other plant pot? There is two more over this way. I don't think I, I did these before. I definitely wanna get rid of the healer before he becomes a major issue. What do we wanna set up here then? We'll just do a pea shooter. Oh no, they're attacking the Gardenator. I will fix that in just a moment. Who is, is it an all-star? Has to be, I saw the red shield there. Or maybe not, maybe it's just you. Gotcha. Oh, I see you. You guys gotta go. Oh, that does so much damage to him. Oh man, get an electric slide. Oh, there was an all-star. Okay, you know what? No, oh, stop it. <laughs> electric slide, I showcased you last episode. I should know all of your tricks by now, but here I am messing up. Ow, 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 oh, this hurts. Do not get knocked out. Do not get knocked out. Okay, shield, shield, charge him. Mm, not bad, not bad. Okay, I, I'm okay for now. No, you don't. Ow, that actually hit me. Let's slow you down then. And of course, everybody has a friend while I'm out here all on my own. Not good. If I could just get rid of this bucket head TV zombie. It's like, what a combo. A bucket and a TV. It's too much. The engineer has a lot of health. And then there's an engineer thing over that way. It's gone now. I just wanted to spawn in something. And then every time I try though, another zombie shows up. Like guys, you're too much. Okay, come on quickly, something, something. Gatling P would be amazing. Oh boy. And what's going on over this way? Too much is going on over this way. I'm in danger. Like major danger. Ah, oh, they got me. Come on, there's just too much. That really is a shame. We got three seconds left before we're get, getting back up. I don't know how many ways we need to survive. Come on, come on. Oh, got it. You gotta get out of here. Thank you very much. Nice. I don't know how many ways we need to survive. In typical Garden Ops, it's usually 10. Born wave four. I feel rumble and either I ate a bad taco or the last wave is here. Oh no, it's only five here. That's a lot shorter. Maybe that'll be a better thing, I don't know. So the next wave begins in eight seconds. I'm trying to get set up whatever I can before something bad happens. I'm gonna guess a gargantuar. I had to guess anything. Oh, we do have the roulette still, this is cool. 
We get ourselves. Oh, two. Boss defeat bonus, 5,000 coins. We got two of the, what's his name? You know what? It's uh, Electric Boogaloo, sort of. That's his name in people's heroes. <laughs> it's just a disco zombie. Hmm, I don't know where they are. Hopefully they pop up one at a time. If it's both at once, I'm gonna have a big problem. Level four achieved though. What's going on over this way? Not too much. Oh, here he is. He's sort of at a bad angle. So I will take advantage of that as much as I possibly can. Oh, that is really shredding down his health too. And he just spawned in a bunch of things. I guess the disco zombies aren't in this game because he didn't spawn in disco zombies. He just spawned in TV zombies, which is sort of a shame. That bums me out a little bit. Ow, ow, that hurt. Gotta be careful. I don't want that to happen again. I'm gonna go back to attacking him though. That did so much damage to him. Oh. Come on, stun him. I don't know who's attacking me back here, but I, I would prefer if they stop it. It looks like I don't see the other disco zombie run. I'm gonna hope that he isn't. I actually don't know where this disco zombie went. Okay, he's still over here. Charge. Got rid of those two. And luckily, I can sort of hide around the corner a little bit where they can't hit me. Oh, now he's invincible now. Not a good time to do this. My best bet is just to attack somebody else in the meantime, but there's nobody around. Stun him. Oh, that actually did stun him, good. I mean, he might have already, he was probably already gonna be dizzy though. So that might not have been me at all. Come on, he's almost down. Charge him, I didn't even need to. Disco zombie number one is defeated. Over here, we gotta get like a bonk choy or something. There we go. Hmm. Oh, did they get rid of my, no, my precious little uh, scaredy shroom. And I can't get you back. When did I spawn in the scaredy shroom? I don't know. I must have just done that. Anyways, we'll just do that then. Where is the next disco zombie? I'm not sure, but Captain Deadbeard's coming in. We can handle him much easier. That's for sure. Uh, oh, here we go. All right, ready? That sorta hurts still because this guy's beating me up too. Oh, I got him. <laughs> he just happened to be in the way. Did that get him? Oh, you just punched me there. Not even like any kind of special attack, it was just a punch. Oh man, here comes the all-star as well. Not good, not good, not good. Stun him, stun him now. Don't just impunt me. Be gone. I don't even know who hit who there. There we go. My gosh, don't get knocked out. If I can get away from here, that'd be perfect. Got him. Turn around, I know those zombies are chasing me. Ah! They don't even need to chase me, they're already here. Stop healing them. Charge again, charge again. They're all right here, I don't like it. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I just can't keep up. Come on. Okay, now we're healed up, and you are in your super spinny mode, so this was not the best timing. Gotta be honest. Yeah, it's gonna end before he's done. Oh, no, leave me alone! Okay, charge him. Mm, that wasn't too bad, actually. Stun him again. Yeah, that just doesn't seem to do much. Oh. Hide. See, I can hit him, but he can't really hit me. That's a great thing to have about having the weapon on your side instead of right in front of you. Come on, come on. We can get him, there it is! Both of the bosses taken down and we get the no knockout bonus. Awesome. Okay, so I guess our Garden Ops adventure is finished with that. That was fun. I really like Garden Ops. Hopefully that's a full game mode at some place. I don't know. Yeah, we, we survived the five rounds. Your team wins. So I guess Garden Ops has been deducted. It used to be 10, now it's only five. Let's find out what happens next. What does Mark have to say? Oh yeah, was I supposed to do that as Colonel Corn? <laughs> oh, Acorn was it? I never did that, but there was like, it never really, I don't know, it was weird. So let's talk to Mark again. What, what, what will you say now? I don't know. 
do ops as a, yeah, I didn't do that. <laughs> I'll reward you so much if you cover my challenges. First one, I didn't I didn't do that, I totally forgot. <laughs> I got too excited. Okay, we'll have to do that at some point. I don't know if I wanna do that now because I thought that'd be a little boring, but I did wanna show off garden ops, so. I mean, at the least, let's spend some time exploring, and maybe if we're still in the mood, we can come back to do the rest of it. I thought that might be our best bet. Oh, I cannot get you until you're out of your barrel. There we go. You're going down now. But we will explore the rest of the town center. I wanna get at least every chest. That's what I wanna do. So there's, I mean, every chest I can reach. I don't know how you get out to these things. So I will try to get as many as I possibly can. And then we'll finish things off by doing that as an acorn. I don't know how I already forgot. <laughs> but I was just excited to show off garden ops, is all. So what's going on next? Where is this chest at? I don't think it's down there. It's right here. You got it. This one has one thing, extra experience for level five. And what else? 15,000 coins, that's a pretty good reward. I like it. And once we start getting everything in the area, any extra tacos we can get, they'll probably just go into collecting everything for other areas once those unlock. And once we get all those, all of our extra tacos can go to just getting extra coins. Wouldn't that be cool? Anyways, what is next though? Where's the next one? Like, there's this stuff over here, and I don't quite know how to get to it. I mean, there's one just right here. That one's quite easy, actually. Open that up. 15,000 more coins. Awesome. And this is where we just need to explore a little bit more. Get rid of these zombies as quickly as possible. And it was up this way. Yeah, I remember sort of seeing this, too. So let's try this out. Yep, here's the chest. Oh, it's another gnomish area. Whoa. Okay. 10,000 coins. Thank you very much. And the telescope. I gotta get way over there. This might not be very easy with Citron. Uh, how am I doing that? Uh, I guess I'll just go this way for now. What is that? Oh, it's one of the tapes. Oh, I guess I could just walk in the water here? Okay, wait, no. No, I can't. Huh. Why could I walk in the water in some spots? Is it like a secret? Oh, I guess so. So wherever maybe these platforms are under the water is where I can walk? I'm going to guess, yeah, that's the case. That's very interesting, but yeah, we got one of the tapes. Yeah, I see them, okay. So let's just try to be careful here. There's a little puzzle. Oh, but I fell, so I don't know if that thing is still there. We'll have to get that again later. Oh, so that doesn't have a platform under it, so we'll have to make a big jump. This place is very fancy. It has all the gnomish things to it. Oh, maybe up there? You can see there's, oh, there's another chest up here too. How do I get that? I might just have to be a better jumper. No, I made it, I made it, look at me. Who needs a better jumper? We got Citron. 15,000 more coins. We've gotten 45,000 out of just these last three chests. That's really good, we're almost at 500 in total. So just keep following. Aha, it's still here, good. What does that have for me? More stuff. Plenty of collectibles everywhere. Those are like little tiny reward packets or something, I don't know, don't give you as much. I do see a chest over this way. Don't quite know how to reach it. Ah, okay, that worked. I don't know how to get out of here, though. Level six achieved, and also a 1,000 coins, and also 50 tacos. So where am I going now? Uh, I guess just up here. Okay, that was nice. So how am I doing with chests? Oh yeah, see, we're finally out in this area. Cool. This is great. We're finding tons of cool stuff. Um. Not over there. There's little bubbles as well. So I guess I'm just supposed to inch along and then jump. It's really hard to tell. Over that way though. Are we, I can't even see that, I can't see the platforms anymore. This is getting a little weird. Respawn. I might wanna change, if I keep having problems, I might change characters. This may be easier as somebody, say, like Nightcap, who has the double jump. 
No, no, did I do it? I did it. And there's another one right there. And that's where we were before. I do see some over that way. And that's just where we were a moment ago. It's very confusing. Come on, jump for it. Did we go in a big circle though? No, I guess not. Oh, I made it. Yep, right over this way. There's also little schools of fish. I don't know about that one. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and change character. Change to the mushroom. Wonder if I can shortcut anything. I don't think so, but I could try. Yeah, just right over here. Excellent. It's just hard to tell if I'm directly over it or not. It's a little inconspicuous. We'll just keep trying now. We, we, we gotta be getting to something. It must be one of the, the diamond blue gnomes because those are extra tough. I say that, but we've only found one normal golden gnome. But I have the map for those. Well, not in this area, only in this area. So I'm not sure, we'll have to find out. And then you know what? I couldn't even see it. After this, if this is a gnome and we do get it, we'll go to that gnome shrine. I've been meaning to do that. It's been on my to-do list. That is very, very large at this point because this area is huge. That seems like fun. There we go. And I definitely see a platform right here. So I'm just gonna jump to that. But where am I trying to go now? Not that way, that's the way we came in. Oh, see that's really tough to exactly see where to land. Oh, there we go, this time I made it. So where am I going now? Oh, over here. Crazy platforming feats of action going on. I love it. This is really cool. And over this way, we did it! But I can't reach it yet. Maybe this will help me. Oh, there it is, we earned it! The Diamond Gnome. Level five achieved for that, a thousand coins, diamond mine. What happens if I do this again? Nothing. <laughs> okay, well that was super cool. So we are gonna get out of here then. I don't see anything else going on in the area. We got all the chests and stuff. So I just need to find my way back. <laughs> I don't know if there's an easy way to get out of here or not, or if I'm just gonna have to go the long way around. That would stink. So I hope that's, oh, over here, over here. Yeah, I see now. We could also just go across like this. And perfect. Oh, would you look at that? That was amazing. Super duper happy about that one. And there's a treasure, a treasure yeti. A treasure yetter. Where is he? He's over this way. I could try taking him down really quickly. Let's run over really fast. Go, 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 go. I don't know how much damage I'll be able to do to him, but honestly, he's pretty low on health already. Get back here. We still have another ninja run. <laughs> I gotta get him. Gotta get him. Where is he off to? Oh, he's just right here. No, 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 you don't. No, you don't. That did a lot. Yeah, he's halfway down. I'm catching up to him. That'll slow him down at least for a second. <laughs> That's good, right? Come on. If you get too close to him, he hits you with the ice, so we don't want that. Ah, don't hit me with the ice, and he's gone. That stinks. I guess you might have to have like friends join you to get rid of him, because he's just too tough on his own. Anyways, what chests might be nearby? Most of them are in uptown, or yeah, uptown, downtown, downtown, uptown, whatever, up, down, uptown, that's what it is. Okay, so we found all the chests in Pressure Pier, so that's great, but anyways. Where in the world is the place where, I think it's this way, where I can find, is it not? I always get so mixed up. Oh, it's on the beach, I remember now. Um, where we can find the Noma Shrine. Because lots of people have been telling me to go check that out, get that done finally. Might as well do that now. While I'm already trying to accomplish as much as I can. Let's just go invisible. I think, yep, it's right over here. Go invisible again. And what we're looking for is, yeah, this room. Go this way and try this out. Hmm, not in there. But I think it's up this way and then across that room. 
over this way. It has to be this one, right? Yep, because the other one leads outside. So if we charge down here, there's sort of two ways to go. I haven't really been too far, because it looks like you can go straight, but you could also go down. So what happens if I go straight? Where does this lead? No, this is it. Okay, I'll have to find out what's going on down that way then. Because that's something totally different. Whoa. Look at this. This is super cool. Uh, Gnome Shrine activated. So I've already found one of them, as you can see. If I can find all three, maybe we can get a gnomish secret. And then there's a collection of gold gnomes around here. That is so cool. What's inside the chest? I need to get all of it. Oh man, that's gonna be fun. So we'll have to make a whole episode of getting as many gnomes as possible. So I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna go back and fall down the pit. I don't know if that was something I was supposed to do to begin with, but I was just so curious about that. Um, ooh. I guess this sort of just leads to the same spot, just a little bit more cinematic when you fall down here. Oh wait, whoa, here's one of the mixtapes. Nice, 312 experience for that too. Hmm. Well, I don't see too much more. The only unfortunate thing is I've been looking around for the solution, a gnome's eye view. That's a cool one right there. I like that. We gotta find more metals. So that's a cool one to get. But I've been trying to find a solution to that one really tough puzzle that like you shift around the pieces. Maybe what it is, is this face. Maybe we should try that. That might be our answer. So we'll try that out in a moment. I wonder if the gnome's gonna be calling us again though, now that we've checked out this place. Cause he said, I think his name was Sven. He said he would, so let's see if he keeps his word on that. Where's the phone at? I think it's, it's around here. Um, I think. <laughs> his area is so huge, I'm still learning it all. Yeah, right over here. Oh, I think it's ringing. Yeah, it is. What's going on here? Answer, you've activated the shrine and your destiny. I will now tell you the tale of kings and betrayal. Okay, so I was at King Gnomus' birthday party a century ago, and three gnome knights, Sir Biff, Sir Baff, and Sir Buff, bullied me. Oh, they shoved me into the cake, took a photo of it, and put it on a shirt for the king. Gnomus loves the shirt, he won't take it off. Trum dabu. I want revenge, Sir Biff the Shover lives in that shrine. Now for my plan, collect three diamond gnomes in town center, open the door, and beat up Sir Biff for me. Oh, golden gnomes, open those chests by the shrine. The loot you have, uh, the loot you can have, all I want is revenge. Do this and I'll give you a glorious prize and not a shirt. Ooh, I'm excited to see what that glorious prize is. Map updated, diamond gnomes discovered. So now we know where they all are. Oh, that's cool. We already found one of them. We know where the other one is, way down here. It's just a mystery of this one. So we'll continue to try to figure that out. I think we'll go and get a couple more chests. Whichever ones I can find, because some of these have been still a mystery to me. Um, like there's a couple here on the eastern part that I definitely can still find. I haven't explored that area too thoroughly. Uh, we're gonna do that, and then we'll go and do the garden ops as the acorn, because I was a dingus before and didn't do that. I, I'm silly. I mean, I was glad to do it as Citron, because of course that helped me, you know, figure out how to play Citron a little bit. I haven't played him in Battle for Neighborville. 20 tacos in that chest, that's a pretty good find. And now, there should be one over to the right, this way. Somewhere around here, aha! Level six achieved, and along with it, a bunch of tacos. What is that noise? It sounds like there's people talking. Maybe they're talking inside of the buildings? That's creepy, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know why you can just hear people going blah, 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 blah. Isn't that odd? Yeah, I'm not really sure what's going on. Maybe there's people I can find and talk to, like that one guy who wants his mixtapes. That'd be really cool. I think we needed to find five mixtapes. We'll continue to do that over time. Oh, here's a chomper. Have I talked to you? Yeah, I have, right? 
You really hit stop on old school's cool plans. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Zombies using cool to capture brains is as cool as a month, month of Mondays. Monday April. <laughs> Watching you take a bite out of their plans makes me so hungry. Hearing about pretty much anything makes me so hungry. Either way, nice work. Okay, well that was that. Got that yeah, I actually had something to say though. That's always cool. And let's figure this out now. This is 10,000 coins, not bad. So well, at least we got those. What is that? Oh, it's a super brain, it's getting healed. He's a champion as well, that's not good. I'm gonna attack him as much as I can from a distance. I got rid of his healing friend. Oh, he is on his way. I don't like it. Keep my distance, keep beating him up. Oh, he's running now, he's scared. He's real scared. What are you gonna do? You're more than halfway down already. You haven't even landed anything on me. And then I can just run up, sneak out of this. He still punched me a couple times, but it was just luck. All right, well that was cool. So we now have most of the chests in Uptown Down, up, up, down, uptown. You know what I mean. <laughs> There's one more over this way. Oh, and M. This is not working. That was weird. It's still not working. Why is this not doing damage to you? Okay, there's something seriously broken there. There we go, now it's working. Ow. That was weird though. There was like, I aimed up on him, it was red, I was attacking and no damage. I don't know also, there's a uh, lawnmower there. I actually haven't activated that one. Let's just go near it so that it shows up on my map. I don't know who we use that against. I haven't seen any robots around. A treasure yeti is near again. He's so popular and common. Okay, you know what? You're gonna be that way, I'm gonna be this way. Never mind. I'm never gonna be able to beat you up, am I? <laughs> because then all of your friends come in and save you. Like this dude. Get out of here. Be gone, will ya? See, that's much better. Actually worked out this time. I don't know, just, I guess when we're too close, it just doesn't really land. Well, let's get this treasure chest. I want it. I want to get it right now. Open it up, even if they're beating me up. 20 tacos, pretty good. And then I'm ninja running out of here. Oh, maybe down here, aha! This is an exit. This has to be an exit to something. Oh, look at this, that was lucky. We got ourselves another one of the tapes. That was cool. Hmm. Oh, I see you and you definitely see me. Okay, so I haven't found a way to get into the sewers anywhere, though, is the weird thing. I've been looking around for that, haven't quite found it. Oh, there's a way to get up on this building, which usually isn't the most common thing in the world. I still feel like this has to be on top of a building somewhere. I mean, maybe it is. Ooh, there's one up there. Yeah, I made the jump, we're on top of the diner. Oh, I guess I didn't get this chest. I didn't even realize. Well, I'm getting this. Thank you very much. 20 tacos. No, wait, no, 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 that's not what I wanted. Come on, Nightcap, what are you doing? There we go. Run back over. Do the double, oh, you can't. Oh, that's misleading. Oh, that's a shame. You can't actually go on there. There's an invisible wall. That bums me out. This is also the diamond, and that has to be underground somewhere. So there's a couple of like unanswered mysteries here that we will continue to try to solve as we move forward. But for right now, I wanna go back to Mark and get the acorn garden ops done. Alrighty, well, just like last time, this time with the acorn, honestly, it might be enjoyably different. So we'll try this out, we'll see how it goes. Hope for the best, all that kind of stuff. I just gotta get out there and put the plant pots down before it's too late. You know, sometimes I'm a little slow with this, apparently. We got a bong choy right there. And the zombies are coming in. So a lot of people were saying that I, I should spawn into the oak when I'm at full health. So that's sort of a mistake I was making when I was playing 
the acorn a couple episodes ago, I had thought it was like the imp. With the imp, the main strategy is to use the imp as much as you can until he's in low health. When he's in a bad spot, pull in the mech and the mech will come in at full health and basically, you know, just be like a second run at everything. I don't think you can really do that as much with the acorn because the acorn and the oak share a health percentage. So, you know, if like the acorn's at 5% health and you turn into the oak, the oak's gonna be at 5%. So it's not quite the same way as you would use the imp and the mech. It is a little bit different. And we will turn into the oak right now. And as you can see, we already have lower health because we already took damage as the acorn. So I'm still trying to find out when the best time is to change between the two and what situations you want when, all that kind of stuff. There we go. I mean, obviously the oak has more health, so you probably want to hold on to him longer. Okay, where's this guy at? Obviously, his shots aren't as accurate, to some degree. Wait, where is he? I thought we got rid of him. There we go. That worked. Oh, in the air and everything, that was good. And there's the first wave complete. I feel like that was actually faster than with Citron. We got the no KO bonus, thousand extra coins, but I also need to plant more plants. We'll do electric greed over this way. It's pretty good. Over here, I wouldn't mind doing Doom Shrimp. I don't really think I need a heal flower just yet. But you know what? I don't have anything else I can plant, so might as well make it that. That's why I'm hoping they introduce more plant pots as we move forward. It'd be really cool to see some new stuff and also have more options to put things down. We'll have to wait and see. Get rid of that guy, no problem. And his friend. Oh geez. Speaking of friends, we've got one on this side. I wonder why specifically TV zombies are such a big focus this time around. It would be cool to see more themed zombies. I know I mentioned it before, but Lawn of Doom is coming up. If you don't know, Lawn of Doom is the Halloween themed event, both for PvZ2 and for Garden Warfare 1 and 2. And it's coming up in uh, Battle for Neighborville. It said so in the uh, content plans for the Founders Edition. So that's gonna be really cool. And I wonder what that's gonna be like, our first holiday event in this game. And they'll, and if that's the case, that should hopefully mean there's more coming up soon. Um, Feast of this usually happens in November in Garden Warfare. Of course, it's supposed to be like the Thanksgiving sort of style. And then also on top of that, there, well actually no, Feast of this is a Christmas one. I feel like there was also one for Thanksgiving, but I can't remember what it's called. Maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> uh, anyways. There definitely wasn't like PvZ Heroes. There was definitely some Thanksgiving themed things, but I forget what the event itself was called, if there was a name for it. Oh well. We're gonna move back over this way. I'm playing a lot as Oak for right now. I'm gonna hop out and play a little bit as Acorn. That's fun as well. The problem is he just has so little health. It can be hard to work with. You gotta be very careful. But sometimes I'm not the most careful. Let's back it up. Quickly, quickly, quickly. I'm in trouble. I was definitely doing a lot better with the Oak. So I'm just gonna get to where it's safe, and while we're healing up, switch back over to the oak. That's great. Not bad, but not good enough until we do that. That's awesome, I love that move. All right, well there's wave two complete, only two, no, not, not two more, three more to go. We can handle it, I think we can. But in the meantime, we gotta keep going. I'll get that there, over this way. I'll get the Gatling P. Maybe that wasn't the best spot for him, but we'll find out. Yeah, the Oak is super powerful. I love how the Oak has like some, like algae on him, I guess. Like he looks aged. <laughs> Which is funny, because the Acorn's technically a little Oak baby. It's just like a cute little combo. They definitely nailed that really well. Anyways, where are these zombies at? We've only taken 2% damage on our Gardenator. Because typically with Garden Ops, you can change the difficulty and stuff. But in Garden Warfare 2, they introduced Solo Ops, which was Garden Ops, but you didn't have to have other real life players to join you. You could just have AI players help you out. I wonder if that's gonna stay the same here. We'll have to wait and see. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Get rid of this guy. Nice. And what else is going on? I don't see too much else just yet. Oh, here we go. 
Let's get rid of this guy. And, oh, perfect, he walked right past it so it didn't even have to worry about a shield. That was great, good move for that then. Gotta keep that in mind. Oak versus super brains. Oak could be the victor. There we go, got rid of him. Leave my plant pots alone, they're hard working. Oh no, I guess my Gatling bee is gone. <laughs> they're very hard working, but sometimes they get a little beat up. Oh, that got him. I definitely have to use the log a lot more than I do. Okay, here we go, ready? That didn't really hit him as much as I was hoping. Hit him with the log. That's it. Ow, ow, ow. And he had a friend. There it is. Definitely just playing as the oak is helping a lot more. I mean, obviously, if you were all teamed up, what would be even easier is being able to have all the other acorns hop right on top of us. And that's where it would be fun to have some solo ops action. Being able to play as, with different acorns and stuff. That'd be cool. Got it. Awesome. Wait, why did it go, oh, oh, it was a speed run challenge? I didn't even notice that little timer. It was so tiny on the side there. I mean, I was going as fast as I could anyways, but it's just a shame it didn't work out. Not doing too much damage to him. Okay, now it's going. I love the splash damage for the shot. It's great. I'm trying to find out what he shoots out. Like, it's not acorns. That'd be a little morbid. I guess it might just be just like little balls of like sap or something. I mean, I'm sure it'll tell us. Uh, Bark projectile weapon, yeah. Anyways, I should be spawning stuff in. Anything that'll help really. Doomstream over here sounds like fun. Special wave best fiends forever. What does that mean? Is everything gonna come in like stacks of two? It might. Where are they at? I'm ready for you, zombies. Uh, so far, I got those two brown coats. And here's one cone head. I don't see another. Okay, well, I guess this guy didn't have a best fiend. I mean, I'm pretty sure it said fiend and not friend. Fiend is a word. Oh, there's an imp. Come on. Nice, we got him. Actually, it wasn't too bad. I'm just glad he didn't have to spawn in his mech or anything. Oh, there's a Captain Deadbeard. I don't know why this one is themed the way it is. I'm getting a little confused. Ah, oh, there goes the pea shooter. That's a shame. I feels like we go much faster when we jump around with the oak. Just gonna keep doing that. So far, the zombies haven't been too much of a threat. Oh, hey, buddy. You again? Get out of here. That's a really good move. I like it. Oh, the Doom Shroom went off when he didn't really need to. Oh, hey guys, see ya. Oh, that got you good. Hmm. I don't see too many other enemies around here. Okay, here we go, screen door zombie. Hit him with the, the log. If I hit him with the splash damage though, yeah, it sort of hits him behind the screen. And eventually we got rid of the screen anyways, but. Here comes another super brains. Oh, the two for one. That was good. Going totally nuts. I like it. So, uh, as you can see, if I hit the splash damage. Well, actually, no, it doesn't actually hurt his. Well, no, that does. It's a little finicky. Here, have a log. <laughs> see you, buddy. Special wave completed. So, we get some bonus coins out of that. Uh, these zombies just don't, won't learn. Get another lesson in session. Okay, so we got ourselves a little roulette. Hopefully this turns out well. Let me get the uh, the pots in here before it becomes an issue. Uh, we'll do this one. And maybe not this one. <laughs> oh, what do we get? I just wanted to be something different. Oh no, maybe a bad different. Ooh, I haven't seen that gargantuar. The, uh, far future robo imp. I haven't seen him in this game before, so that's actually pretty new for me. Okay, well here is just a normal zombie. For right now it'll be Gargantuar versus Oak. Come on, get these guys out of here. Onslaught of zombies coming in now. 
We gotta keep spawning stuff in as soon as I can. But yeah, I, I feel bad that I'm not playing as Acorn at all, but with all the different zombies attacking me, I need the extra health, you know? Unfortunately, it's just sort of mandatory for now. Ah, that's gonna explode. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> is it like a TV guidebook that explodes for some reason? It has to be. It sort of looks like it, but I never had the chance to really see. I really can't afford to be distracted by it either. Come on. Oh, here comes the space cadet. Ow, ow, ow. I seem to get into a good position to deal with you. You leave my doom shroom alone. Don't be so mean to the doom shroom. Oh gosh, here he comes. Have a log. Okay, he missed his imp shot. That's good. I'm hitting him dead on with these too. Oh, 125 damage there. Come on. Not too bad. Are there other zombies around? Oh no, he's here, he's here. Not good, not good, I was not ready for you. Oh man, he looks so cool though. Got him, come on, keep beating him up, keep beating him up. Ow. Oh, that missed him. That stinks. Oh, this hurts, this hurts. Who's over this way? The Gargantuar still, of course, who else? Oh no, 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 come on, waddle over this way. You can do it, you can do it, you can do it. Hit him with the log. Trying to use this corner to my advantage. We also have the Gatling P rolling some damage onto him. We can beat both of these dudes, I know we can. Oh, not bad, not bad. He's almost down, almost down. We got him, and that's gonna be level eight. The mech Gargantuar is down. Where is the normal Gargantuar? Got rid of that guy. I think he's right around here. But I also have no clue. <laughs> Where'd he go? Here he is. You want some more, buddy? Because I got some more for you. Have the log. See ya. And an electric slide. Ow, that hurts. Couple more zombies coming in. We're almost done with a lot of them. This might be the last one right here. Nope, there's one more. Got you, boss wave complete. That was actually pretty good. Perfect ops bonus. Clear ops without getting knocked out. That's amazing, we did really good then. Wow, awesome stuff. We had like a bonus like five or 6,000 coins for not getting knocked out once. Okay, well major victory there with the acorn. So we did two rounds of ops. Apparently there was other things we can do for Mark that'll make him happy. Maybe we'll do those later. But uh, for now, Let's see what he'll say. We're way over here. Up till you drop. Cool. Hello, pea shooter friend. Ah, leave me alone. Okay, that's gonna launch them all away, sort of. I just wanna ignore him and talk to Mark. Do ops is acorn. Look at that, my dude. You did the first challenge. Now for challenge two, do a run of ops is nightcap. She's awesome, right? All those wild spore abilities. I wish I could do this one. But these hemp bicycle locks aren't going to tell to sell themselves down by the river. Whatever that's supposed to mean. Um, but anyways, we'll do more of that later on. Um, we had a lot of fun with the first two ops that we did. We'll do more of them eventually, for sure. But uh, yeah, for right now, I think that's about all I wanted to do in today's episode. We got all of the chests that I could find. We still need to find like this whole grouping. Maybe next story mode episode. Well, actually, next story mode episode should definitely still be... Um, the new zombie area that's coming out next week, so stay tuned for that. But eventually when we come back to the town center, I'll have to hunt more golden gnomes, all that kind of stuff. There's still so much more to do, it's crazy. But with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Plants vs. Zombies Battle for Neighborville. Before you go, be sure to comment Zebra up so now you've watched the end of the you are a Zebra-tastic viewer. Also subscribe to join the Zebra Herd. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.